So tell the young musicians who play favorite standards from the big band era here to perform a medley of In the Mood and Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy. Please welcome the Toronto All-Star Big Band. <laughs> Chicago way. He had a boogie style that no one else could play. He was a dumb man at his craft. But then his number came up and he was gone with the draft. He's in the army now, a blowing reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. He made a boogie bugle for his Uncle Sam. It really brought him down because he couldn't sham. The gap seemed to understand. Because the next to the cap went out and dropped to the band. And now the company jumps when he plays reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle Pitch, ladies and gentlemen, from the Toronto All-Star Big Band. Now, that's a uh, pretty exciting genre of music. It's probably one of the most beloved. You must get uh, old and young out to hear that. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's great for us because you know it's better than practicing in your basement. Yeah. And um, you know people really respond well to us, and we get a lot of really good feedback. Mm -hmm. So we really mm -hmm. really enjoy it. Now, what's it like in Canadian showbiz to split the money 75 ways? Is that exciting? <laughs> What do they do? Toss it up in the air at the end of the night and all of you well, go after your share? We're students, so we're just happy to yeah, get something. Good, good, good. Now, now, I heard you had a chance to play with some pretty big stars. Uh, yeah, we've had a few really great opportunities. We um, opened for Jeff Healy. Mm -hmm. um, last, uh, in the fall, we played with um, Peter Appleyard, amazing right. vibraphone player. Mm -hmm. 
And actually, the vocalist section of our band had kind of an interesting experience. We went to do a fancy gig in a Toronto um, hotel. Right. And there was a famous uh, musician there, Canadian musician. And we were all really pumped to meet him because, you know, we're, uh -huh. we're fans or whatever. So we, get, we make sure we get there early and that we're all set and we're ready to go. And um, we walk in, you know, with our pieces of paper waiting to get his autograph. And we're looking around and he's not anywhere. And he strolls in about 45 minutes late with two beautiful blondes on his arm. Right. Spends the whole time talking to them. And then his band is kind of backstage, you know, take partaking in illegal substances. Yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> we, just, we just kind of said, okay, yeah. can we have your autograph? Thanks. And they, yeah. they just kind of now went Now, when away. he gave you the autograph, what did it say? I think it just said, love from. Who? Well, I don't want to say it. I'll tell you afterwards. Brian Adams? No. <laughs> I'm you not, know, I'm you not know gonna Benelli? Say it. No, I'm not gonna say it. That's every famous male Canadian musician. <laughs> There's a 50-50 chance I got it right there. A 50-50 yeah. chance. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, except for you guys, sorry. I, they're, they're somewhat famous too. Was it Orrin Isaacs? No. Oh, all right, okay. All right, well, that's pretty much everybody then. Yeah. Tony Padalino, that's my last stab. No? no? Okay. My, my mouth seals, because right. see, we're young musicians. We don't want right. to cause problems yeah. right off the bat. So yeah, yeah. you don't need a lawsuit. So yeah, you're no. not at this stage in your career. No. Now, uh, the uniforms are fantastic. Thank uh, you. On the one hand, that's a great thing. On the other, it's uh, more of a budget than our own military. Is. Yeah. <laughs> we think we'll go in there as reserves if yeah. they need us. Yeah, good. Yeah. Now, now, where are you off to next? Um, we have a big show coming up on May 24th. Mm -hmm. um, it's at the St. Lawrence Center for Performing Arts right. with a famous singer, Tommy Ambrose. Ah, um, was he the guy, Tommy Ambrose? Was he the guy? <laughs> <laughs> no? All right. I'll okay. tell you. All right. Um, and it, we have a 2 o'clock show and a 7 o'clock show, and we're just going to have a good time. Good. Well, it's a great sound. I really, really enjoyed it. Thank you Now, very much. Uh, Jenny, you have been uh, chosen to exhibit your knowledge of Canada in the Canadian quiz. Are you ready? <laughs> Brought to us. Well, it's brought to us by our good friends at Canadian Tire, and here's what you could win, Jenny. With three correct answers, you'll win the Mastercraft Spin Saw. This versatile tool routers, engraves, sands, and polishes. It easily cuts through wood, drywall, ceramic wall tiles, and plastic. Put a new spin on your next home project with the Mastercraft Spin Saw. Another innovative product found only at Canadian Tire. Good luck. You have, to, you have to get three right, and in that uniform, you better get them all. Okay. I'm a singer. you got to remember that. I know that. All right. All right. Well, well, you can sing the answers. That's fine. Okay. What is the, what is the name of Canada's longest bridge? Longest bridge? Yeah. I'm sorry. Did I say that wrong? Longest bridge. I, I have no... Well, 1867 was the year of... 1867. Confederation. Confederation. Yeah, okay, we'll give that to you. Yeah. True or false, O Canada was not proclaimed Canada's national anthem until 1980. That's true. Absolutely right. <laughs> the, the Chicken Cannon is a skit from what Canadian television series? I've seen this before because they load all the vegetables and stuff in right. there and shoot it. That's uh, Royal Canadian Air Force. Absolutely right. There you go, there's your spin song. Congratulations, and thanks to John Hawks, the Nutrim Performing Dogs, and the Toronto All-Star Big Band. Join us Monday, folks. We've got Brett Michaels, Jen Levine, and the Ataris. Good night. Have a good weekend. We'll see you Monday.